Hi, this is Maggie. In this video we're going to talk about creating separate files for your Pygame sprites and creating a package structure for those files. When games are large, it's easier to find and modify sprites if they're in separate files rather than one long file. It takes me a while to scroll through this game in top-down level transition.py, even though it's not actually that long only about 400 lines. So I can separate out the different sprites into their own files. Let me do that. I'm going to create a folder for this program and I'll put all of the assets and the code in the folder. I'll name the folder separate sprites and inside I have the terrain maps, the tiles, the player character, the coin, images, and the program file. But now what I'm going to do is take a sprite from the program. I'll take the student sprite. And I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to paste it in a new window. And I'm going to name that student.py. At the top of the window, I'll need to import anything that the student sprite needs, which includes Pygame, of course, but also math. Now in Python this is called a module and the name of the module is the file name without the .py extension. And then back in the main program in top-down level transition.py I'm going to import my external class or module. So up in the import section I'll write from student import student. The first student is the name of the file without the .py extension, and the second student is the specific class that I want to import from the file. I could write simply import student as I do with Pygame, IO, Math, and Random, but then I'd have to prepend every reference to the student sprite with the module name student. If I write from student import student, then that brings the student sprite into the program namespace and I can use it as it is. So if I then run top-down level transition.py, it works as usual, even though the student sprite is now in an external file. This is really useful if you have sprites or other classes that you want to reuse, but also if you have a very large sprite or class or a collection of related sprites or classes that you want to keep together. It gives you less code to scroll through when you're editing, and if the files are named well, will make it easy to find the code you're looking for when you need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Now, suppose your program is very large and you would like to have it better organized into folders. Again, even this small program is a little messy. A simple revolving coin is taking up six files in the folder, and if the terrain were even slightly interesting, it would also consist of a lot more files. There are different ways that the program could be organized into folders. You might want to have all the content related to a single level in a single folder, or you might want to have all of the images in a folder, all of the sounds in another folder, and the code in another folder. You can organize your asset files however you like, and simply use the path names when opening in Python. However, once you organize code into folders, you need to create packages in order to import them into another Python file. So this is another folder, and this is called Packages. And you can see I have the program 
with the student sprite broken out. I'm going to break some of the other sprites out and put them in a folder called Sprites along with the student.py file. And I'm going to make a folder for the sprite images called images. I'll pause the video, do that, and come back. Okay, so inside the sprites folder I have student.py, brick.py, and gold.py. And each of those contains the sprite with the same name except capitalized. If I were going to import them into a file in the same folder, I'd simply import gold, brick, and student, but they're not going to be in the same folder as the main program, top-down level, transition.py. To use those, I first have to make them packages, and to do that, I place a file called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi in each folder. That file can be empty, so I'm just going to create an empty file called init.py and copy it into each directory that contains code, including the top-level directory. Now having done that, I give the name of the module that I'm importing as the folder name dot file name. And whatever the path is, I can just join the directory names by dots. So sprites.student sprites.brick and sprites.gold. So at the top of the program from sprites.student import student etc. Okay, now we also have the images that we're using in a folder called images. This isn't a package, it's a file of resources that we're not importing into the program. We use these files when we load in the resources. So we can simply use the path name when we do that, and we use the path name relative to this main program, so images slash file name. For example, images slash barrier.jpg, and that will be fine. We could just replace the file names everywhere. However, a better way to create the path names, because it will create a path name that is appropriate for whatever operating system we're using, is to use os.path.join. So at the top of each file in which I'm importing images, I write from OS import path. And then down where I'm constructing a string, which is a path name, like here, where I create a list of image file names, I write path.join And then I pass as arguments strings representing the directories in order, and finally the file name. In this case, there's just one directory, images, and then the file name. But if I had a deeper path, I'd list each directory. This is a relative path, so beginning with the program file. The images folder 
is in the same directory as the program file, so we begin with images. Just to illustrate multiple folders, suppose I put all of the coin images in one folder called coins. Then here in gold.py, I'll write path.join and then pass in images, comma, coins, comma, and then the file name which I'm constructing, coin plus string i plus dot ping. And if we run the program, that works fine, but it should also be platform independent if we're running on a non-Windows system. So that's it. If you want to break your program into separate files because it's getting very long, or to create reusable components, those are the tools you'll need within the program to make that work. Try organizing the directory for one of your games into a sprite folder and assets folders. Use os.path.join to create your directory paths and create packages and import your packages. When you can do that successfully, you're ready to move on.